Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm in a mood to create something very subtle, very pastel, very spring-like. So I'm going to be using the new Glitch Baked Eyeshadow Palette by Ofra Cosmetics and creating this look. So if you're ready, let's begin. Let's start with the brows. Nothing new here. I'm going to be using my very favorite Precisely My Brows from Benefit in the shade 4.5 just to fill in the sparse areas to keep my brows looking as natural as possible. And to clean up underneath my brows and as a primer on my lid, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in 135, which is a tad lighter than my skin tone. I'm using a light shade on my lid because I'm going to be using lighter colors. It'll show more when I use a lighter shade. And for dramatic straight edges, I'm going to be using some scotch tape in the corners. What we're trying to achieve today is a defined crease look. And you'll see it's so simple. We're going to be using only two eyeshadows. I'm going to first start with Y2K, which is a very subtle anti-gold shade. I'm going to be using it in the inner half of my lid. And the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush by Colourpop. You broke my chains and released me. Using the same brush, I'm going to dip into Easy Bake, which is a very pretty pink shade, and I'm going to use it in the outer half of my lid. And while I do so, I'm going to be carving out my outer crease. And I'm also going to make sure that the two eyeshadows that I just used are well blended into each other. I'm going to take off the tape and I'm going to be using the same two eyeshadows in my lower lash line. In the outer half, I'm going to use the pink and in the inner half, I'm going to use that muted gold. The brush that I'm using is actually a flat fluffy brush by Wet n Wild. Using rhinestones, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. This is an optional step. I just wanted to jazz it up by adding some liquid glitter. So I'm going to be using the NYX Crystal Liquid Glitter in my crease. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Colourpop BFF Liquid Liner. I'm going to pull out a small wing. And I'm going to keep my lower lash line nude but metallic. So I'm going to be using a gold eye pencil by Ramel in my lower lash line. Using rhinestones once again, I'm going to highlight my brow bones and you can see how pigmented that is. And then I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics HD Volumizing Mascara. And for lashes, I'm using the Tati Lashes in TL9. And here's the completed look. I hope this was fun, quick and easy. If you plan to recreate it, please don't forget to tag me. You'll find my socials in the description box right below this video. You'll also find information to all the products that I use today. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos every single week. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.
It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you 